pleasure to welcome such an inspirational lady to Go Curvy today. Sonia Renee, welcome to Go Curvy, sweetheart. We are so happy to have you here with us today. Oh, thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, uh, I know who you are and I think you are absolutely remarkable. But Sonia, can you tell our Go Curvy viewers who is Sonia Renee? I am a performance poet, an activist, and the founder of The Body Is Not An Apology, an international movement focused on radical self-love and body empowerment. Oh, so beautifully said, so beautifully said. What inspired you to start The Body Is Not An Apology movement? You know, it was very accidental. I did not intend to start a movement, which I, you know, I think often uh, the things that really um, are the most needed grow very organically. And so for me, the issue was simply that I had a photo in my phone, a selfie that I had taken as I was preparing for a show. And I felt really sexy in this photo. I felt good about my body. I just felt good. Yeah, you and look good. You felt good, right? Yeah, exactly. And somehow still the negative voices were telling me don't share it. Um, the voices from the outside world um, were still telling me, like, you'll be, you know, you'll be embarrassed. People will talk about you. Don't do it. And um, this one particular night, I decided that I was going to fight the voices and I was just going to do it anyway. And so I posted this photo. And in the photo, I was very transparent. I was like, you know, I am in this photo. I'm 230 pounds. I have a really unfortunate tattoo decision I made when I was 23. <laughs> I have stretch marks and I feel beautiful. And I encourage you to post a photo where you feel beautiful too. And the next morning, like, 30 people had tagged me in photos that they had posted where they felt really good and excited about themselves. And I just felt like, oh, well, maybe that's a an opportunity for us to maybe, you know, like just be in community around yes. supporting each other and feeling beautiful and empowered. So I decided I would start a little Facebook page focused on feeling beautiful and empowered. And that was three years ago and 32,000 people in 42 countries and programs and yeah it's just grown uh in ways i could never have imagined i know that you have performed everywhere from universities to prisons why is it so important to get that message out there at least for me and my own art my own art um my art has to be about how it impacts the world and the things that are going in the world i'm not really into art for art's sake yeah. i'm into art that does something and so you know, the truth is every day that we wake up, we are waking up in a world that is indoctrinating us into hating ourselves. We're really told that we should not feel good about the bodies we live in but for a myriad of reasons, for size, for age, for yep. ability or disability, for race or ethnicity or sexual orientation or gender. Um, and so it is, it's, it is a difficult task to decide to love yourself. And so I it think is. it's important that, there, that we are out in the world creating forces that counter those messages. Um, I, want to, I want my art to be something that gives people a different option about the way that they can feel about themselves and the way they can feel about each other. I think that it's important that we have counter stories um, to, to challenge the regular everyday stories that we often hear about ourselves and our bodies and the way we should feel about them. If you meet somebody who's just you know, they just don't feel good about themselves and they're so hard and down on their bodies. What do you say to them? We run a, a workshop and webinar called How to Stop Hating Your Body in 30 Days. Uh, oh, and it's, it really is this idea of giving people new tools. Um, one of the things that I say often in my workshops uh, and in my speeches is, that we came here as radical self-love. You've never seen a three-year-old complaining about the size of their thighs. It's not a real thing, right? And yeah. what happens is we are taught that that our bodies are wrong. We are taught that we should be a certain way or look a certain way. And so the first thing I tell people is that they have to get unindoctrinated so that we can get back to our source, which is radical self-love. It has been such a pleasure talking with you. You have got the most wonderful spirit 
Any way that we at Go Curvy can help you get your message out there, we would be so We're honored. actually launching a crowdfunding campaign on June 23rd. Uh, we are looking to raise about $80,000 to rebuild our website as yeah. the premier place to go for radical self-love content. Um, and so the campaign is called What Happens When We Say Yes? or hashtag when we say yes. And we are interested in receiving people's stories about what sort of amazing things have happened in their lives when they decided to say yes to radical self-love and living unapologetically. So we hope that you'll send us submissions um, at info at the body is not an apology, or just share your own stories on Twitter or Facebook with the hashtag when we say yes and the hashtag T-B-I-N-A-A. Sonia Renee, thank you so much for being on Go Curvy. You are just an amazing, inspirational lady, and it has been such a pleasure having you on today. Thank you so much for having me. I love the work you're doing. Keep doing it.